We're digging deep. Nice bayonet. Yeah, this is a some nice bullets and buttons. Yeah, that's a Indian uh, pistol and Moreland pistol. Yeah, they use that to ground things up. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this came from Missouri. Oh, that's very cool. We can use it like that. Yeah, that's a nice find. All of us digging in Virginia. Um, Patches right there. Very nice display, but we're gonna get to relic hunting and uh, see if we find anything. There's Doug right there. <laughs> let's go. So let's go. Yeah. All the Civil War site and um, I got a signal that was about six inches deep. I think it's a Civil War bullet so let's take a look here. Maybe some sort of pistol bullet. It's got rifling on it so I'm not sure but it's got a solid base. Looks like it could be a pistol bullet. It's about six inches deep. Not that deep at all but that's cool. I'm gonna go show Doug. That's awesome. It sure looks like a cult to me, man. Yeah, it does to me too. Yeah. There's a little mark right there. What's so yeah, that's what's fooling me too. But you can see where you can see where the ramrod pushed it down. See that? Oh yeah, yeah, around there. See that? Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking it. I think it went to an optical kind of bounce. I, I bet you do. Yeah, cool. I would say so. Yeah, I, I wouldn't put that in the... No, I'd put that in your phone. Hadn't been here 10 minutes. Yep. That's an awesome find. Glad to have it for sure. Yeah. It's heavy. What we found out there is a lot of gardeners too. Yeah, oh really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, Enfield, Confederate stuff. Wow, okay. We'll have to keep at it. Um, Doug is using the 15 inch coil on his uh, GPX. You can see right there, he's using this 15-inch coil. Um, so he's hoping, <laughs> he's hoping to get some deep stuff. Um, so ho hopefully we'll find something else. The plug, so yeah. the signal's still there. So Should I put be. this in my box, you think? Huh? Should I put that in my box? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they gave me a nice little relic box to keep my stuff in. We found uh, quite a bit of stuff right here. Um, I found a button right here. And numerous three ringers in this area. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully there'll be something good right here. You got something? Yeah. Well, he's calling me over. Let's go see what he's got. How deep? Oh, that was so deep, man. It's as deep as uh. 11, 11 inches deep. Dang. See the let me light? get my, let me get okay. my other camera so it'll focus in better. Hold on. It does sound a little different. Oh, I can see it though. It's right there. Yes. There it is. Oh, that's a nice see? bullet. I think that's a gardener. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like a gardener. It looks like a gardener for sure. Oh. Oh, no, that's a three ringer. That's still cool though, man. Yeah. You hold it up. Oh, it's pulled too. See how? Oh, that's so cool, I love man. Buttons. It's, it's just, deep, it's man. So, so pretty to see that soil and that white bullet laying there. Like yeah. That. 
Cool. That is so cool, man. Good way to start. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Congratulations. Yep. That is awesome. That's we'll have to get a picture of our uh, of our totals for oh, today. Yeah. That's. Can I see it again, though? Yeah. There's a. There's the pulled part. That's of where it. they stuck the ramrod in there. It had a little screw on it, a worm, yeah. and they pulled the bullet out. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. It's a good way to start off the morning. You know, hope, hopefully we'll have some more, you know, deeper targets like this. You know, with that with that 15-inch coil that Doug has over there, you know, we should be pulling out deeper stuff. It's getting just a little bit deeper. It is getting deeper, but... But you see, that's this is 11 inches, 11 and a quarter, and that's just about right there. That's awesome. Great job, man. It's right where the stick is right here. Nick got a signal um, with his GPX and Doug Downey he got two bullets in one hole. He told me he had another signal right here that he wanted me to check out. And I dug down deep and I've got some uh, activity in the hole. So um, this is deep, man. I mean, this is like... Hey, here's a bullet. I see it. That's a three ringer. Look at that. It's a three ringer. That's awesome. That thing was deep. Dude, Doug, look at how deep this was. It's almost like an arm length down. Cool, man. Awesome. Yeah, I did. I did. I heard a little little chirp with it, so. Oh, that's awesome, man. Neat little piece of American history right there. It's amazing, because that's been in the ground for over 100 years, and if you're the first person, you know, to be able to touch that history, it's priceless. So, three-ring mini ball. Um... I can't see if I can see like a mold mark or something. That's an awesome find nonetheless. So cool. This time I found it on my, de my the detector, so. Oh, it's another three ringer, I see it. There we go, see it? I see it. What is it? It's a three ringer. That was deep. I can't tell you how deep that was. I mean, it, that's half of my arm right there. That's at least 12 to 13 inches, at least. Down there. You can see it's another three ringer. So. That's four out of there. Snake, snake, snake right there, right there. Look, my brakes. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Did you bring that just for that? No. Oh my gosh! <sighs> you scared the. <laughs> you scared the. Oh. Now I gotta go get my lesh again because I ran away. <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, sorry for the interference by Doug. <laughs>
see it down there. Man. Hey, this one kind of looks a little different. I think it's still a three ringer, but... Man, another one in the same hole. Gosh, so that's four now. That's four. Yeah, that's four. Unbelievable. Another piece of American history. Let's put this one right here. I'm gonna scan it again. I think that's it. Wow, what an awesome find though. And y'all saw me dig it up too. Just laying in the dirt for over 150 years. And then Doug with that <laughs> that snake thing. I swear every single video I'm gonna have there's gonna be like one prank inside of it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome though. Hey, thank you for uh, letting me check the signal too. Appreciate it. So I heard it on my detector. It was a little tiny little blip. And there we go. I will get back to you on the next. Awesome little find though. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I think I've got a little uh, particle of a bullet, like fragment. Yep, just a little piece of camp lead. Still a great find from the American Civil War. That's great. Happy to have it. Work in this backyard section. They said they found some bullets like right by the fence over here, but they couldn't get their GPXs in here, so I'm trying to clean up over here. Looks like I'm doing a pretty good job, so I'll get back to you. Hey. Shoot, it's in the plug. That generally made us jump. Really? My bullet wasn't that deep. Yeah. But. Yeah, that's normally a good depth for a. Make it easier. Just cut it in half here. There it is. Piece of camp lead. Oh, yeah. It is a little piece of camp lead. Yeah. Boy, that, that little that, piece of lead really yeah, went off. Yeah, that really it? went off. Yeah. yeah. You can see the trench line from here going all the way down there. And this would have been a place where they would hop up and go to the different trench. They found gardener bullets in here and other things like that, but there's a lot of history in the spot for sure. Yeah, it's a buck ball. Buck ball. A little bit of camp lead and two buck balls. They got a two 59 caliber three ringers and then we're gonna measure the caliber of what we think is possibly a Colt bullet so and then Doug's snake which he scared the crap out of me with so we had a good day and it was a lot of fun and it actually wasn't that hot outside so we'll have to do it again thank you all for watching